<sighs> All things must change. Uh, it's nothing. It's nothing. I just thought it a great shame that so many of these glazed lilies have wilted. What happened to them? Back in my day, people said that glazed lilies can read human hearts. If they heard beautiful sounds like laughter and singing, they would also bloom joyfully. But if they heard too much wild gossip or slander, they would quickly wither away. So that means these flowers feel what's happening in Lila? Yes. The rumors of Rex Lapis's death are no small matter. They are everywhere. Some say it was a Fatui plot. Others say that the Chising made it all up. And still others think that that which lies in the deep is breaking free. This harbor is like a mountain of dry tinder. One spark, and the fire will consume us all. Well, I shall say no more. This old woman's grown too old and naggy. Did you... Ah, that old trinket. <laughs> I remember it being here with me, but I've grown old. <laughs> I can't quite recall where it is exactly. An old friend of mine used to wear it on his person. Back when I was young, he saw me gazing at it often and gave it to me. But he told me then that if someone should come to borrow that bell, I should not be loath to part with it. It has been many years, and who knows how many times someone has come to borrow this bell. Still, though, I can't recall when. It started. It's been a long time since anyone has come to borrow it. Oh, these old bones are so slow to look for things. I doubt you can wait that long. That's right, Granny. We'll follow you back home and search for it ourselves. And, um, we can help with chores if you have any, too. All right, children. There is no need to worry. I didn't place the bell very far away. Uh, do you live near here, Granny? Whoa, but this is Eugene Terrace. It's gotta be expensive. Oh, an old lady like me can't afford to buy a place in this city. See this ceramic teapot? My entire household is in here. How does that work? Oh, youngsters. I simply mean that the bell is somewhere inside. This granny's so weird. What does she mean her whole household is in here? Is she playing with us? Hmm. Um, how many levels does this teapot have? It would be nice if we had one of these, too. Or at least we wouldn't have to camp outside. Faster? Okay, faster. Oh, you found it! <laughs> Youngsters are so quick on their feet. Oh, now, let me... All right, that'll do. <laughs> oh, in and out in no time. You youngsters really are quick. The Chi-Sing. Those children stopped letting my friends and I into their council long ago. Still, they've done well recently. We old folks are content to be idle. Ugh. Paimon can 
kind of knows what you mean, but is also kind of confused. Are you really giving us the bell just like that, Granny? Don't you think it's weird? Something's just happened to Rex Lapis, and then we come running up asking for it? Oh, don't be silly. Leo Harbor has been through a great deal in its history. In that time, it has seen the departure of countless Adepti. But no matter what, we have always performed the rite of parting first before any other matters. To cry, catch the murderer at the top of one's lungs, but ignore the rite of parting. That, to me, is what is wrong-headed. Now that you have come to borrow the bell... I guess that perhaps an old friend of mine has finally decided to take matters into their own hands. So, why would I be unwilling to lend you the bell? Oh? Well, if it came to that, <laughs> they would find a certain old lady knocking at their door. We haven't met in a while anyway. It would be nice to share a drink and chat. Well, you must have things to do. Since you have the bell, you should return. Oh, and do tell the person who sent you that if they have time, they can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. We will. Thanks, Granny. Indeed. This is the cleansing bell. Hmm. It's in good condition. Let's place the perfume we've prepared inside. An adeptus. Hmm. That's suspicious. But if you don't want to talk about it, we won't pry. Oh, yes! That old granny asked us to tell you something. If you have the time, you can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. <laughs> that tone does not suit you. Still, her teapot is indeed very good. There are none better for brewing tea. When a suitable time arrives, I'll bring a spot of fine tea and pay her a visit. So what's the next step in our preparations? Hmm. Next. We need to purchase kites. Ooh, Paimon loves kites! Are you taking us kite flying? Is this our break time? <laughs> no, no. Kites are children's toys, yes. But they also play various symbolic roles in Liyue's rituals. I will explain it to you. But our next course of action should probably be to purchase the kites first. Oh, sure. Curiouser and curiouser. Ah, sir, you're here. The seven kites you asked for have been made to order. Would you like to take them now? Yes, thank you. It's rare to see customers who want to buy this type of kite nowadays. In the early days, we used to get orders from people of all walks of life. Well, this is Mr. Zhang Li from the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, so he's probably well versed in all these walks of life. We've talked about a whole bunch of things while traveling with him. He seems to know Liyue's favorite topics, money and government, really well, but he likes talking about less useful topics instead. Well, that's because I prefer to share fun things with you. <laughs> Children's toys are very fun things, that's for sure. I enjoy watching the children at play as much as anyone else, but there is more to it than that. Finely crafted toys are well loved by children, but this craft itself has been honed over thousands of years, and there is meaning behind that. I have made kites in Liyue for 40 years, and I am intimately familiar with the forms passed down from my ancestors. The meaning of these seven kites is far from banal. Indeed. These are decorations used in the rite of parting. The seven kites represent the seven. I took the liberty of coloring outside the lines when doing the insignia of the Animo Archon. 
As for the kite that honors the Geo Archon, one must follow the contract given right down to the last letter. These patterns are ancient, and you can also find them in the Golden House. Ah, Paimon's heard that name before. Huh? The design of this kite displays a firm grasp on the cyclicality and eternity so dear to the Electro Archon. These markings of tree and leaf pay due honor to wisdom and the passage of time. All this on a single kite. Truly astonishing. Justice flows across the surface of the waters. War rages like a flame. As does that which the Cryo Archon once. <laughs> the compliments of a learned man truly are pleasant. Well then, Granny Shen, I shall take these back with me. As for the payment... Well, allow me. Hey, it's Child! <laughs> no, I was merely passing through. I see Mr. Zhang Li is the same as ever. When paying, well, when getting others to pay for him, he neither looks at the price tag nor his wallet. He knows a great deal about money, and about the trials of the common man. He just doesn't consider poverty to be something that could ever happen to him. Or perhaps, you could say that he cannot imagine himself lacking money. How has he not died of hunger yet? <laughs> Child, you are as fond of jokes as ever. Well then. Since we've purchased our kites without incident, there's no need to take a break before moving to the next step in our preparations. The right of parting requires helping hands as well as materials. We should be able to find some people near the harbor. Oh, by the way, take this bag of money. You probably won't want to let Zhang Li do the bargaining, if you know what I mean. Hmm, seems I missed out on some interesting information. I suppose I'll just have to find a more opportune moment next time. Oh, what should I try this time? Huh. Faster? Okay, is. faster. Hiring help? Sure. But let me just say first that I'm a reserve member of the Adventurer's Guild. I take adventuring commissions, but I don't do anything clerical. Adventure? Venturing into the mountains to capture a few crystal flies seems adventurous enough. Eh? That's not hard. Almost a bit too easy for a reserve adventurer. Nah, never mind. I'll only charge you 15,000, Mora. What say you? A most fair price. Had some sum today? That won't do, I'm afraid. It's too little. Too little. Let's see. No. Go higher, or I'm... Five Geo Crystal Flies. Yes, I do think it's worth about this much. I'll do it. Try something new at the Wan Min restaurant. Ugh. Leave the people must put some iron stomachs. <sighs> Should I save this money? <sighs> Oh, help? Sure. I, Tick, always put in 100% effort into everything I do. Of course, there'll be a premium if you want me to give 110%. So what's the job? Let me see. We are still missing some wooden implements over at Yujing Terrace. They aren't uncommon objects, so I didn't make any special preparations for them. No problem. That'll be 20,000 more after a single trip. Ha Done. Oh, you're a straight shooter, huh? We have... <laughs> a full day of odd jobs at Yujing Terrace. Hmm, no problem. 25,000 per day. A fair trade, yes? Whoa, that's expensive. Um, could you give us a bit of a discount on account of the whole Hero of Mondstadt thing? Hero of Mondstadt? Never heard of them. Well, you may never have heard of this hero, but it seems you've heard of Mora nonetheless. Thus, I will simply pay the whole sum. This is all you've got? Then no can do. 
Child? No, no, no. He's putting up the money? Uh, still no. Uh, wouldn't that mean I have to make two trips rather than one? How about this? Let's make a trade. I'll take what you're offering right now. Find me a high-quality Lotus head. I'll consider that my detour fee paid and go find what's-his-face child. How about- Guess we've got no choice. Should I save this money? Not yet. Have you brought the goods? Oh, that looks good. I'm hitting the kitchen tonight, and it's not often that I get to use such fresh and high-end ingredients. Well, I'll head to Eugene Terrace in a moment. I won't be late. <sighs> A toast to our success. All finished then? Splendid. Any leftover cash is yours to keep. A favor for the Fatui should never go unrewarded. You think you can buy us off with some loose change? No way! Paimon demands to know when the next payment is coming! <laughs> well, how does this sound? You give me the information I need, and maybe I'll leave the Northland Bank's vaults open and unattended for half an hour. What info do you need? Huh. Does that mean you know what he's after? Yikes! You're right! Signora! <laughs> you both need to calm down. I don't know what's gotten into you. Just what is this about? The atmosphere got so tense all of a sudden. <laughs> Next, we need some everlasting incense. For this, we need to go to Boo Boo Pharmacy, the finest pharmacy in all of... Is... everything okay? Everything is fine. I was just informing them that they need not return the surplus mora. Now if you'll...